This is Phil. I'm Dan, and we're the Brooks Brothers. We've been making drum and bass for about time flies, but yeah, especially for like five years. You know, we got signed to Breakbeat Chaos in about 2005, six. Mm. So we've been doing singles for a while, and uh, yeah, just started the album basically a couple of years ago. Listening to music has just been my passion from since I was a tiny little kid. Same with Dan, really. Our mum bought us a piano when we were I was about four. Phil was mine. I wanted to be a jazz piano player. I used to play a lot. I used to play probably almost as much as I produce now. Over the years, I've taught myself a lot of music theory. That has been my main focus for, for the last few years, just trying to become as good uh, at composing music as possible. We had no clue about production. There wasn't internet forums when we started. There was none of this stuff. So we just had to start from scratch. We, yeah. uh, we went to the shop. We said to the guy, what, what, what are we going to need? What are we going to need? And he sold us this keyboard that we didn't really need at all. And then we spent the next sort of... Oh, he sold you a keyboard. He sold me a keyboard. He got so mugged we, off. We spent the next year sort of trying to figure out what, what it was that we actually did need to make tunes. We always had like an attitude that we'd never kind of stop until we really got there. And we just worked really, really hard. And we always kind of thought we'd get there in the end. She tears you down, down, down. Says you're nothing at all. We had a tune out called Tear You Down in 2008, around September time. It kind of got to number one in the UK dance charts. It got to like number 54 in the, in the mainstream charts. When Sarah Cox like, made it her record of the week, we couldn't believe it. And, you know, we were getting in the car, turning on the radio and just hearing our tune in the middle of the daytime. And we were freaking out, we, just, we couldn't believe it and it literally just opened up so many doors for us. Our profile sort of blew up after that and that, that was when we really wanted to sort of push on and get the album done and uh, you know that was really the time when we sort of decided to take everything ultra seriously. <laughs> We've always wanted to write an album that's been like a major thing a major plan of ours since day one really. Um, we really wanted to do a collection of tracks that kind of work together as a whole rather than just like 12 singles. Our niche that we found was like just kind of doing our dance tunes and doing the remixes as well. So we really wanted to take on a larger project where we could try a few different things, you know. We wanted to kind of move away from the more dance floor sound and experiment a bit more with like kind of home listening stuff. And gave us a chance to write a few different tempos. So there's a load of different stuff that we can't wait to come out, really, you know. We really wanted to make it right. We didn't want to release anything substandard. We really wanted to just be totally 100% happy with every single tune on there before it went out. We're well happy. We've been working hard for like nearly two years, so it's been a long time coming, man. It's taken a while to come together, but now it's all done and wrapped up and, you know, we're really happy with it and we're really looking forward to getting it out. Mm -hmm. 